Coming up, I'm going to share the new way that you have to pitch Apple to land a feature. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co. I thought I'd try to tr do the opening with a little more lyrical song and rhythm for you. All right, today I wanna share with you a brand new form that Apple has just created during their WWDC 2017 announcement, which just happened last week as of this recording. They announced a brand new form that they want developers to use when they want, when developers like you and me wanna get featured by Apple. So it's a brand new way to pitch Apple and it's the way that I started noticing this actually a few months back because we were trying the old method and I started to sense that there was a brand new thing coming up. And so this is the brand new form that you have to use when you wanna pitch Apple for a possible feature, okay? But before I show you that form and what to put into that form and how to do it and everything else, I wanna share with you a webinar, a live master class that I'll be doing. It is the exact process that we used to get three of our clients featured by Apple in May 2017 and 12 in total as of beginning of June 2017 that we've been able to accomplish 12 in the last 16 months. So it is, I think if you speak to any other app marketing firms out there, I don't think anybody has been as successful as we are in landing Apple features for our clients, okay? So if you wanna be there, go to appmasters.co slash Apple appmasters.co slash apple. And if you're watching this at a later date, I'm sure you can either access the recording of it or, you know, maybe I'll do another live one. So just go to that link and you'll, you'll be able to catch it. But it's happening June 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific time this Thursday as of this recording. All right, let's go into how to pitch Apple. Now, before we go into the screen share, I wanna share with you that we've been using App Store Promotion at apple.com. I don't think that's the right email anymore. I wouldn't use it if I were you. I would use this exact form. And I'm gonna share with you some ways that you can really make your pitch stand out, okay? So let's go to this form. Now, there's the link. It's gonna be linked up into the video and also on the show notes and everything else. So in your, if you're listening to this as a podcast, then you can grab it in your favorite podcast app, or if you're just listening to it and you don't wanna go to any link, I'm gonna create a short link. It's called appmasters.co slash apple form, appmasters.co slash apple form. That'll redirect, redirect you to this particular form. Now you will have to actually log in to see this form. So definitely do that, okay? You'll have to log into your developer ID to see this form. All right, let's go into this form. So here it is. Again, I'm not gonna spell out the whole URL. It's at appmasters.co slash apple form. And it'll redirect you to this particular page. If you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in first. And then here's where you can do it. So I'm logged into my Apple account. Now you can see, you know, they want to know six to eight weeks in advance before you're launching it. My timeline was three to four weeks. They've changed that now six to eight weeks. So a lot of time. Now, what I would say to this is if you are a game, definitely abide by that because it's harder to get new games featured. And this might change with iOS 11. I'm just speaking as of today. It's harder to get older games featured by Apple. If you're a new game, that's generally easier to get featured by Apple. Now, if you're an app, a non-game, this doesn't really matter as much, but if you do have a significant update, then go ahead and abide by these timelines. But if you're already out and the significant update is already out, I would still pitch Apple as well, okay? Let's go into some of the nitty gritty of the, the form. So developer name, here I would just put your name is whoever's contacting Apple. I put Steve Young for me. Now app name, I'm just gonna go through an app that we actually got featured by Apple in China and go through that process for you. So Paintball Rush was the app that we've got featured in China last year, that's 2016. And I think it was March that we got it featured or April, I can't remember. But here's what you need. 
the Apple app ID and I'll show you where to get it. So if you go under my apps and you go under the app that you want to pitch under this app information, you'll see this is the ID that they need, Apple ID, okay? So you can copy, and this is Paintball Rush, the game that we got featured last year. There it is. Describe your app. Now, again, the things that you want to really mention is don't talk about how cool the game is, which I'm sure it is, that's cool, but talk about Apple specific things, you know, like, 3D touch, 3D touch enabled, or AR kit, right? AR kit, Apple just announced in WWDC 2017 that they're coming out with the AR kit, which is augmented reality. You know, we've integrated it, integrated. You know they're gonna make a big push for all the new features that they just announced in WWDC. So make sure you highlight any of the new features that you're already using. And the earlier, the better, right? They Apple made a huge push last year after the iMessage stuff really got announced and they're probably gonna make a big push for any AR kit type of apps as well. So really start thinking about how you describe your app in the way that Apple wants to see it, okay? New features and all that stuff. All right, version number, this is pretty self-explanatory. Platform, you can kind of decide iOS universal, iPad only, iPhone only, so forth. I'm going to put iOS universal, our version number, if we were to do this, I think it is 2.0. Yeah, so we're not doing this, but obviously if we were, then we would do that. Supports iWatch, no, and it has even in future release, so you can start doing that. This is essentially what Apple would ask us for a possible feature in a huge spreadsheet that they've now put into a form. So a lot easier. So right now here, games. I imagine this will be a drop down soon, but for now it's open form, just click games. This, if it's available worldwide, I would just put worldwide. Languages supported, I'm gonna put English, US, so they know. The business model is a freemium model. I'm submitting to the app, let's say June 2000. I don't know, what's today? I'll just put today's date, tomorrow, right? Plan release, now this is important, right? This is when you want to make sure that this is your launch date. So really carefully plan it out. I think too many times, just from my experience working with a ton of developers is that you, we all underestimate the amount of time it's gonna to take to launch the app. So put in a little bit buffer, okay? And it's okay if you have to go outside of it but put in a good buffer date. So I'm gonna just say July, I'm just randomly picking a date, okay. Now your story, I created a video already about how to craft, I don't know if I've done that. Actually, if I haven't done that, it's gonna be in the webinar, but this is the real heart of it. What is your story? Don't just talk about your app, you know, like really get inspired. So some of the things I'll tell you that's worked in the past, for me personally, when I got this paintball rush featured by Apple, I said, hey guys, you know, I created apps in 2011, from 2013 and 2016, I really focused on learning and interviewing people and, you know, obviously helping companies with their app promotion. But now 400 episodes in at the time, I'm ready to release and get back into the game. So I'm showing some social proof that, hey, this is not my first game. I've been around the corner. I mean, I've been around, I've been interviewing people in real life, you know, putting the social proof. So that's what I would really heavily try to weigh on is social proof. I got another client who was a ex Microsoft employee and he was a developer and he's been developing games, a younger person, but he put that into the pitch. Another developer who I helped get featured by Apple, we talked about how he's been in the app space. He had millions of downloads already doing some of the reskin stuff and now he's ready to launch the custom game. Right? So really talk about your story, not in a sense of too many times we're too much of a hero of our own story, but like tell your story to strangers and see what they're really resonating with. If you tell your story and nobody's saying, oh, that's cool, then you probably need to rework that story. But if you tell your story and then people are like, that's cool, that's, those are the pitches, those are the moments that you look for. And I generally, when I'm working with clients, is that's what we're, we've gotten really good at. And that's what the webinar is gonna really talk about, is how do you highlight your story and how do you highlight your pitch, right? Because in a word or two, you gotta get Apple's attention. And if this is just about your story, they're kind of labeling it, tell it to the world. And hopefully this won't be you know, the first time. If it is your first time, 
Tell us about why you decided to create this app. Another client that we're trying to get featured by Apple is, you know, we're talking about like how he's inspired by different games and also that he's been a developer for a long time. So really think through that story and craft a good one. And that's what I will walk through in our webinar because we had a little bit of template that and real examples I'll share with you as well. So that's really important. Okay. That's all you got to do. Hit send and then really just pray. The I'll tell you what's the process before. Before it's it used to be Apple would reply to us and say, hey, you know, we're interested in an Apple feature. And so they don't do that anymore. But now I believe you just have to watch the App Store. And if they're interested in featuring you, what they have done recently, this was recent in May for a client of ours, they asked, they responded to him in the developer forum under iTunes Connect and said, hey, we want some promotional art. That's because he wanted a banner feature. You know, he's, he's going to get a banner feature and he got that. And so they'll do that if you if they want to feature you heavily, like with banners and stuff. They'll probably email you or message you through the iTunes Connect developer form. If, and sometimes you won't even hear from them. So for another, for two of our clients that we got featured, so we had three clients featured in May, two of them, we didn't hear from Apple at all. It was just literally me because I do this all the time. I look at the App Store features every single day. And one, obviously I was trying to, get it in a particular spot. So I kept just checking that every day, every night, while in the bathroom, taking a piss. I was like, ah, let me check this. <laughs> but I was checking it all the time to see if it was there. And then we got that feature. So never heard from Apple. We just landed a feature from that. So it is very difficult, just like PR. They'll never tell you when they are gonna publish the article. Same thing goes for Apple. Things may change and I'll let you know if things do change. But for the time being, that's what's happening right now. All right, guys, good luck. If you do get featured by Apple, please message me. I get some lovely Facebook messages from people and said, Steve, I love your content. We actually got featured by Apple just using some of the freak stuff out there. And then we're also gonna create a playlist for you guys that shows you all the videos that we've created for Apple features. That is it. If you're enjoying this video, this podcast, this blog, please subscribe to whatever medium that you like the best. If you want to subscribe to YouTube, it is at masters.co slash YouTube. And if you're listening to this on the audio format for the first time, then it is at masters.co slash iTunes. Or if you're watching this on the video and you'd rather hear it on the podcast, it is at masters.co slash iTunes. Hope that was helpful. I'll be back with our next video, breaking down all the effective app marketing channels. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.